hello guys through here welcome to today's relevant read so guys in today's read we're gonna be diving deep and looking at a very very fascinating question which is on quora guys you know on this channel we talk about technology tips career advice and some inspiration and this is a question that i see a lot of people beginning to ask uh more and more right and it's which is better a nano degree from udacity or harvard data science certificate so a nano degree from udacity or harvard data science certificate we're gonna dive in review some of the answers here and i will be giving my own opinion about uh about which is really uh which is relevant uh, at the end but before we do that i'm gonna dive in and uh, review some of the very relevant answers that are here guys this is a relevant read this is definitely a relevant read you know on this channel i've been talking a lot about data science data uh which is really the future right which is really the future and you might be thinking about getting in but where should you where should you go udacity or harvard that's the big question that we have today so before we dive in into uh into the answers i just wanted to share the links that i brought up here uh harvard for those of you that are not familiar uh this is not the traditional harvard right the ivy league that we all know that everybody wants to go to but that is very prestigious uh well this is it but it's uh their online version so this is the online version of harvard and you can go on the website let me uh, actually just go back i just did uh google i searched for google have a certificate and you click on it and it brings you to uh to um to the harvard website right and you can see the courses but this is online learning in harvard so harvard just uh harvard does provide some online uh, courses uh which comes with the name harvard right so that's definitely a plus uh, if we go back to that link that I have for professional certificate in data science, you can see the professional uh, certificate in data science that Harvard offers, right? You might be on the fence wondering, is, should this be a good option for you, right? Uh, let's just say, uh, let's just click on one of these courses here. You're wondering, is this a good option for you? Or maybe not, right? And that's really what we want to discuss. Uh, this is coming from a very uh repeatable instructors uh people that you know if harvard is bringing in these instructors you can be rest assured uh that you know they they are on the top of their game now guys this is what i really wanted to show out here this particular course this is the date when it's gonna open but this is what people really scream when they see this right let me actually zoom in correctly this here free free right getting education from harvard university for free and what do you need your laptop uh, your internet connectivity and maybe some motivation to get through the program right that's about it about one or two hours a week and you can be getting a data science certificate from harvard guys this is like we're living in a time and i i, I have this conversation with people we're living in a time like never before right just imagine somebody was alive in you know i'm not that old but somebody was alive in the 1970s or 19 even 1990s and you wanted to study right there is no way you could have said well i'm studying from harvard i'm learning from the best but today with internet and all the options that we have you can actually learn from harvard and this is why this is so powerful right so let's assume you want to take this course you click on it uh the certificate is actually uh is done by harvard but hosted on on edX, right and you can go in there and can take the course as you can see it's free but if you want to verify your certificate you can pay uh, some money which is about 49 dollars so this is a great option this is a great option now the next one that we saw on that list right because before we start saying which is better let's first of all understand what we're dealing with so we've seen harvard now let's look at uh, nano degree from udacity so udacity so udacity.com they have nano degree program which you can see on their website and i'm going to leave a link to all of this in the description as always the very first link in that description would take you to all these resources if you want to dive deeper into them so if you go into the nano uh degree from udacity they have uh, let's click on here school of data science things that's what we talk a lot about you can learn more right uh let's just accept cookies for now and you can see the data science program uh you can see some of the different tracks bear with me for a second it's just a little bit slow here while i get this adjusted you can see some of the different tracks here right like data visualization or, or programming uh, for data science with r or being a data engineer right so these are some of the tracks that you might really want to dive into and then uh, based on that let's just say uh data analyst uh, you can click on that and you can now enroll into that particular course right which will teach you python sql statistics 
as such right to to become a data analyst so maybe that's the track you want to get into all right so these are the options uh these are the options that you have uh you know either going the have a route and taking some of those through edX which are free or udacity nano degree now let's dive back into the answers that we have on quora to see what the discussions are, are around i was a little bit bummed that there are just four answers to this question guys I, I i really hope i wish there were more answers and hopefully by making this video we're gonna have more answers uh, to this and people can share their experiences personally i haven't taken any of this yet I do have a master's degree, but I just haven't taken this. I've done a lot of my own study uh, by self uh, study. But uh, uh, these are the options that we want to look at. The considerations that you really want to have in mind uh, when you're thinking about this is uh, one, money, right? Because going to Harvard, the traditional Harvard, where you go into the classroom and go through that process could be very expensive. Now, we know that, you know, not everybody can afford that but we have the opportunity to still say i studied at harvard or i study at harvard or i study with harvard depending on how you say it and still get that harvard name behind your resume somehow and that could be very 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 relevant right it's a prestigious university and just saying i'm affiliated with harvard either online study or some study it could be very it could mean a lot Right. And that's the reason why sometimes people go to universities like Harvard, just because of the name and, and the, the prestige that comes with it. People want to hire somebody that made it through Harvard. And now a lot of people, millions of people around the world have the opportunity to say, I studied at Harvard, right? It's really a different time that we're living in. And it's an opportunity that if you're really considering, this could be a very important factor to, um, to take into consideration as you make that decision. Now, the next one is, and the individual that wrote this answer uh they take a front end nano degree uh from uh, udacity and this is your experience that they talk about because udacity and to be honest let's go here uh becoming a data science i wish i could show you this i thought i saw it somewhere all right i can't quite see what i'm looking for but I, at some point i saw thousands of people registering for for these courses let me see if i can find that really quick guys bear with me i can't quite find that but let's try this again uh, learn more data science accept it keeps asking for the cookies and i'm accepting uh get started all right uh learn more All right. Unfortunately, it doesn't show me what I'm what I I was looking for. I wanted to see the amount of students that are enrolled, but let's go back here. Here you can see on the on the edX side with Harvard, you can see it says fifty six thousand students already enrolled. Right. This is as of October of making this video, and I'm I'm guessing there are equally a lot of students that are equally enrolled uh, for the Udacity side with their nano degree program. And the reason why that's relevant is because the community of people taking these degrees uh especially something like Udacity, udacity is growing every single day right so that means that in the workforce there are a lot of people that have gone through this program have taken those degrees and are now in the workforce and guess what those people are out there hiring they're hiring managers they're, they're, they're working in the industry and that automatically comes with a certain level of validation when you say hey i'm you know taking a nano degree uh, from Udacity because guess what maybe your manager has taken the same degree or your, your your co-workers have taken the same degree so just from a network effect in that in that regards it does offer a certain level of validation if you if you are sincerely considering that option all right so that might be a plus for the nano degrees right just really trying to comp con compare and contrast nano degrees with uh, uh, with the, the Udacity so now Harvard definitely gives you the name and the nano degrees uh, can just give you that network effect because being out there, it's, I, it's, it's uh, the people that have taken it are a lot and they're in the industry. And so that really can, can be a plus for you. Plus, plus, um, in addition, these programs, and I believe both by based on the research that I've done and I've read a couple of other articles here, which I'm going to include as well. The programs tend to, um, just bear with me for the notifications coming in. The programs tend to, uh, really give you very hands-on uh, uh, projects uh, for you to work on. 
So whether it's you're talking about Harvard or you're talking about Udacity, right? If the question is, should you just study with any one of these programs? Uh, if you're trying to get into data science, of course, the answer would be yes, right? Given that you Harvard is free, you get the name Harvard, it's very hands-on. They give you projects and, and you can build a portfolio out of it. Then it's a no-brainer, right? It's really a no-brainer whether you're going with Harvard or Nano Degrees. Both of them would definitely give you uh, that hands-on uh, project and a validation too that you don't get if you're just watching YouTube videos like I, like I do, right? For me, I can honestly say I've watched a lot of YouTube videos and learned a lot of concepts, but I can't really speak to it because, well, I just watch YouTube videos. But if you went to a nano degree, you can actually put that name behind it and get some validation on that. So that would be a plus for those. All right. I think I've beaten the point on this uh, a little bit more than I, than I want to. So let's dive into the next uh, couple of few uh, answers here so we can take a look at them. Uh, this one and the individual Ishmael Osman talks about I com just completed Udacity nano degree term one got uh, to start term two. My experience with the program is great. Uh, I learned the wealth of relevant data science topics with a lot of practice, and this is important practice uh, with enormous support. So, based on this individual, their experience with it was great, right? I interviewed with a few companies for data analyst position recently. I noticed, and this is what I was talking about a little bit earlier, I noticed many of the hiring managers are familiar with Udacity Data Analyst Nano Degree Program, and they highly value it, right? Guys, if you if you are looking for any form of validation, uh, in this article there you have it right and this is somebody that has taken the program like i said i haven't but this is an individual that wrote this answer very recently uh, 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 to, to to mention does think that you know in the industry that program is valued so if you're looking for any validation uh, there you have it all right unfortunately they haven't taken the harvard data science program let's look at one more uh that one wasn't as relevant. Uh, this individual here, uh, Daniel Gutierrez, uh, was suggesting uh, John Hopkins data science certificate. So again, the options out there are just enormous, right? What are you talking about? John Hopkins, Harvard. John Hopkins is still also a very prestigious institution. I don't think on the level of Harvard, at least in my opinion, but still very uh, prestigious. And you can see 258,000 already enrolled in the Java specialization. Whew. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot of people, right? And as you're going through this, one of the things I really encourage you, whether you're trying to be a data analyst, a bio, biostatistician, risk manager, data scientist, whatever your track that you're trying to specialize in, look at the courses that they're giving. Look at the curriculum. Look at, do they focus on hands-on or do they focus on just theory? Uh, because I'll bet a lot of these are not very academic, right? These are certificates. These are things that they want to give you skills to go work in the industry, right? Uh, they're not teaching you to become an academic uh, person. Those people usually go for PhDs and things like that. All right, cleaning data, exploratory data analysis, and you really have some, it seems like some very smart professors offering that. All right, so John Hopkins is one of them. You know, of course, you have uh, Harvard, uh, and then you have the, uh, the Udacity. All right, so guys, there you have it. The options are abundant. The information is there. The cost is down. So really, the thing that should stop you is just motivation at this point, right? Because whether you choose Udemy, Udacity, edX, Coursera, or, or Harvard Certificate, or John Hopkins, guys, just pick one and start, right? At the end of the day, you're going to learn. You're going to learn a lot. And most of them are free. If you're really worried about the cost, most of them are free, especially with the uh, the Harvard one, you only pay for certificate. If you only pay if you want to verify your certificate at the end. And for some people, it makes sense to do that just because you might be working for an employer. You say, oh, I got a certificate, show me. And you show a certificate that's not verified. It might not have a, as much credibility as a certificate that's verified. But still, still, you're paying $49, which we saw here, I believe, somewhere. $49 for the certificate compared to uh, a university uh, a full-blown undergraduate degree or a master's degree in data science, which you could be paying 40000 50 60 depending on the university that you go to for a full master's in data science. So from a cost perspective, guys, this is a no-brainer. This is a no-brainer. As a matter of fact, I, at this point, I would hesitate to tell people to get a full master's degree in data science just because you can validate your skills with Harvard behind your name 
at at this cost right then you don't have a fifty thousand dollar loan that you need to pay right you don't have a fifty thousand dollar loan that you need to pay all right this article too i'll include it i think it did an, an interesting job just comparing and contrasting some of this uh, university the cost and having some conversations around them with the link it goes through edX, Coursera, Udacity, um, and then with the sum summarization. All right, but and I also like the way it summarizes it. Each of them has their pluses and their minuses. Uh, at the end of the day, what you need is just that motivation. What you need is you taking your laptop, internet connection, and the desire to learn. You can learn from all of them if you want, right? And get different projects across all of them. Nothing stops you nothing stops you an hour or two a day you can uh, certainly do that all right guys thanks for joining us today i hope this was a very relevant conversation for you i hope this opened doors and provided you some 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 opinions or some thoughts if you're kind of on the fence of which to take um hopefully hopefully this gives you some ideas and if you're really on the fence just take a coin flip it and say one for udacity one for have or uh, two for harvard or we'll say head for udacity tails for harvard and flip it whichever one comes down guys you still be far better off than somebody that keeps wallowing in making that decision and never gets to make a decision or get started all right i hope that helps guys consider consider subscribing uh really consider subscribing sharing this with somebody that might get value out of this uh, this has been through with a relevant read today uh, thanks for joining and i'll see you in the next relevant read